What's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about how to quit porn. So let's say you notice a really cute girl but you don't talk to her and then she doesn't notice you. So instead of saying hi to get her attention, you, you go off somewhere and you masturbate instead. You know, you beat your meat, you choke your chicken, you jerk your gherkin, corral your tadpoles, you have a tug of war with Cyclops, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the point is, if you found those phrases silly and immature, maybe even stupid, then exactly how do you think you look by ignoring that girl, not even saying hi to her, and then you go pleasure yourself? So now I'll ask you another question. After you did this, did you ask yourself, why did I just do that? And I get it, bro. I, I know that it feels good at the time. It feels great at the time. But it's also like falling off a cliff. And that's when we start to question, like, why did I just do that? Then all of a sudden, the guilt and shame come back. You're basically getting some sort of sexual gratification or satisfaction without actually having to work for it. Or some of you may have done what I used to do. You may have just edged so you can drag that out. You know, you get maybe a 30-minute session in because you want to look up more stuff, more, more intense stuff, or an hour, or a few hours, or in my case, as I mentioned in the last video, up to 18 hours a day on your day off when you had nothing else to do, or when you shirked your responsibilities so that you could go back to the one thing you knew you shouldn't be doing. There is a huge cost in this kind of an addiction, this, this PMO addiction that is just basically done little more than feminize men. Self-pleasure causes desensitization of your dopamine receptors. And that same desensitization is what's making you look up more extreme forms of porn and becoming more and more addicted the more you do it. So to, to understand how this addiction just sort of snowballs out of proportion. Let's do an analogy with, um, let's say, bodybuilding, weight training, any kind of exercise like that. Say you can do 10 reps of a certain weight. So you do the same, you do 10 reps, and you notice that you get a little stronger the, the next time it's easier to do those 10 reps. Or maybe you notice you're getting a little bigger. But if you keep doing the same weight, you're not going to grow. The same thing happens with a porn addiction. You get bored of the same material over and over. So what do you do? You up your game. Same way with porn. You're going to add more extreme versions of porn. Your addiction is going to get bigger. And you're hooked. So when, when I got started with porn, it was just simple magazines. A lot of you may have started out the same way on the internet. You may have just Googled naked women. And that was exciting for a time, but then gradually you lose interest. So what do you do? You start escalating your searches. You start looking up more intense material. You're getting into the fetish territory now. Things are getting darker. You're looking at things that are normally you wouldn't have looked at you might think they were scary all of a sudden they're exciting and that's until they become boring too and then you have to move on to something else and you can make this change in two different ways you can do it the easy way or the hard way there are many ideas and philosophies out there about how to quit porn you, you've heard all these different things you know you gradually quit porn you gradually come off of this stuff uh, that's like an alcoholic going to the bar, and instead of having 10 drinks, he has 9 drinks. What you guys have got to do is you've got to quit cold turkey. T to get over the, the, this cold turkey quit, it, it may seem extreme, but the thing is, just like I said in the last video, you have to replace your bad habits with good habits. 
So what are some good habits you could replace your, your, your bad habit with? Simple. You could learn to meditate, to calm your mind. You could socialize. You could work out. Do something. Stay active. Stay busy. Do something you enjoy. Um, have a hobby. Start a YouTube channel. Do something. Anything that's going to help you use your sexual energy in a creative way. For some of you who may lack self-discipline, and I really think that you should use self-discipline when you commit to NoFap, especially as I have for a lifestyle, but install a porn blocker on every device you own. This actually may be a good option for some of you. The whole point is to find some way to forget that porn exists. And it, it takes about three weeks to form new habits, assuming that you are practicing on a daily basis. And think of it this way, uh, that's three weeks of not being able to access porn. Is that really gonna kill you? Eventually, if you do what I've said above, which is to find other habits to replace your old habit, you're going to get used to being without porn. And let's be realistic. I, I gave three weeks. Um, think of it as an average amount of time. It might take some of you longer. It might take you a month, two months, three months. Some of you might get used to being without porn in less than three weeks. And getting off of porn is going to make a huge difference in your life. Everything that you do will be more satisfying than before. You're not going to feel this draining of dopamine because of porn and jerking off. You're not going to have that shame and guilt. You're going to be having accomplishments. You're going to feel good about yourself. You're going to feel energetic, enthusiastic. You're going to wake up in the morning and just want to get out there and get it done. So something I'd like all of you to do is to leave a comment below about anything else that you've done or you thought of doing to help you quit porn. So I'll see all of you in the next video. Peace.